The term XOR stands for the expression exclusive OR. Another meaning for this would be either OR. You might have also already heard of the XOR gate in some context. By an XOR operation we usually think of the addition of bits modulo 2. In practice, this works as follows. You usually do an XOR operation for each individual number of the bits. At first we add the respective numbers of the bits using common addition. Next, the individual results are considered as single numbers. The numbers are converted back to zeros and ones. To do this, you check whether the individual numbers are even or odd. Is the number even, then a zero can be noted. If the number is odd, then a one can be noted. We will illustrate this with an example. First of all, we add the individual numbers of the bits up in the way we are used to. So all ones in a column are added. From the result, the individual numbers are now considered. And then we check whether the number is even or odd, resulting in a zero or a one. Also note, that the usual symbol for this operation is a plus in a circle, meaning the calculation should be actually written down as shown. If you want to look at a more mathematical explanation, click on the button on the right. This operation can also be defined by making use of the definition of modular calculation. The end result is the same one, but the definition is more mathematical. If you want to calculate 2 bits modulo 2, this means you add those 2 bits, then divide the result by 2 and afterwards focus on the remainder of the division. Remainder 0 means that the result is also 0. Remainder 1 means the result equals 1. We will illustrate this with an example. First of all, we add the bits up in the way we are used to. The result, which consists of zeros, ones and twos, is now divided by two. Now, we are only interested in the remainder of the division, which is our actual result.